Starbucks Reserve Roastery in Shanghai, the company's biggest outlet in China, has now resumed business after a week's suspension, but with only one entrance open. Only half the seats are available to ensure all tables are one meter apart, and the roasting area is fenced off to avoid the beans being contaminated. After the shop reopened, we saw many frequent callers come to show their support. And of course, in addition to serving customers, the most important thing is protecting the safety of our customers and staff. The outbreak forced Starbucks to close most of its outlets in China. By early February, about 80 percent of its nearly 4,300 shops were closed, and the company now estimates shop sales in China for the second quarter will be down about 50 percent compared to the previous year. That means a loss of from 400 million to 430 million U.S. dollars in China revenue. Experts say these lowered expectations are one of the major factors for the decline in the company's stock price by mid-March. This would have looked very drastic at any moment, except now. Not only in the market, but also other sector pairs have performed as badly. Papa John's, Dunkin' Brands. Have both declined by over 20 percent, whereas McDonald's is down by more than 15 percent during the same period. Therefore, we do not think Starbucks has performed much differently from either the market itself or other sector peers. Things are improving, however, as more shops resume business. Starbucks began to see early signs of a recovery at the end of February. In the last week of that month, total weekly gross sales of the company in China grew 80 percent from the previous week, with average daily transactions per shop improving 6 percent. More than 90 percent of Starbucks shops in China have now reopened for business, and the company says about 95 percent will have resumed operations by the end of this month. Retail businesses across the country have been responding to the fast-spreading coronavirus with extended health measures. And most experts are now predicting the impact will be temporary. Cafe consumption does not have an inelastic demand. It provides a third space for people to communicate with each other outside home and workplace. So COVID-19 has had a great impact on business. But we believe that with growing demand for social communication as the epidemic ends, cafes' operation will return to normal and continue their sustainable development. As the epidemic gradually comes under control in China, more retailers have resumed business. Restaurants in Shanghai wanting to resume dining services need approval from the city government. According to a recent report by the China Hospitality Association, nearly 60 percent of large chain restaurants in the country had reopened as of March 12. Zhang Shixuan, Money Talks.